we uh, we came from Union County when it was uh, it was about um, 34 somewhere along there 1934 from there we moved to uh, over here Heglers. Heglers. How long did we live there? No, it was, it was, <laughs> no, it wasn't Heglers when we moved to, at that time, it was, it was over there at, uh, uh, my mind was going to live. Miami home. Church Road? Miami Church Road. On Miami Church Road. And, the Lydica uh, home, mm -hmm. we lived there. It was a couple of years, but we lived there, and, uh, old Mr. Lacker passed away, and then when he did, his son took over on his plantation. And so dad and he could not get along. And so dad went down uh, to talk to Brad Snyder, talk to him, and, and he hired him. And so we moved over there then, somewhere around 19, we 35. moved from over there into 35. Because I remember it was 1935 when they built uh, A.T. Allen School. And while he was working on it, I got on the wagon with Mr. Lodeker and went to see him working on the school and came back. <clears throat> and so in 1936, then we were living there on the uh, Snyder Farm and that's when I started the school that year after the, the school was built, 1936. And from that time on, then uh, Lucille was along with us and then on the farm, Lucille, uh, uh, Geneva, and Avi, and then Rachel was born there on the, on the farm. Well, I remember living on Miami Church Road, uh, and I was born in 32, so if you if we moved in 35, I was smart then. Well, it was all smart because... <laughs> you three years old. Because I, I can, that's why I mean. See, I can, you see, I can remember, <laughs> I can remember, I can remember before we even left at Union County because some things, that, things that were done. Uh, Buster, he, our brother, he uh, uh, was going to take a horse down to the river. Dave was going to wash him. And he was going down a, a trail. And uh, Buster had seen a pretty out there. And this was about 33. And uh, he started out uh, get that uh, pretty and daddy nest. hollered at him it was uh, and so a dad stopped him keep going down getting a hold of that hornet nest it was hanging down on a holly tree uh, and so uh, time goes way back there i can remember those uh, and uh, daddy had a little horse his daddy gave to him and i was out there one day and got one on a big old rock and I broke his broke his leg off so the little things i can remember sunday on Sundays, the people would come around and uh, and uh, they would water the tree right there. But in the winter time, we'd huddle up at a sh at there at a place on the horse warm and crack crack walnuts and eat walnuts. <laughs> this was in Union County back in the 33, 32, and 33s. Well, you were two years old, three then. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I can even remember things happening back there in those days. See, I was born in 32, so I wasn't old enough to remember all that. But I do remember living in church over here a lot of And I remember Paul. I was actually afraid of him. He wasn't just right. Well, everybody was afraid of him. Afraid uh, of Paul. Oh, his daddy. He had funny actions, <laughs> and I was actually afraid of him. Teddy, my daddy calls Paul uh, just before uh, Mr. Lattica passed away. He was going after him with a with an axe, and Dad stopped him and told him not to do that, not to do that. And he, he called him. Started what? He started after his daddy with the axe. Oh my goodness! Mm -hmm. He wasn't right. He wasn't right. He got mad at his daddy. Real bad. <laughs> I was 15 years old. <laughs> when was that? When I went to Lock Mill. I lived over here at the Hagler Farm. Okay. Mm -hmm. You got to Brack Snyder's, right? That's from Brack Snyder's, farm. went to the Hagler Farm. What do, what do you girls remember about the, the farm? The Hagler Farm. What do they remember? The Hagler Farm, yeah, because we were over there. 
No, we were no, Snyder's. No, 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 they were born. Uh, they, yeah, 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 yeah. They were all three were born on the Snyder farm. On the yeah, Snyder farm, right. 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 Okay. Well, what I remember, I don't know if you guys remember this or not, but um, Mr. Schneider had given me a little chicken, and it only had one foot. Right, and he made a wooden foot for that chicken. Do you remember? He made a wooden foot for that chicken and uh, gave it to me. And he, sure you didn't dream that? <laughs> I had a wooden chicken. And, and a wooden chicken picture. with a what wooden What did you leg. do with the chicken? I remember. I don't remember much from over there, but I remember that and him calling me, telling me I looked like a chicken. The Hagler, the Hagler farm was Mr. Snyder's first wife's farm. Uh, right, left that farm and bought the farm that he we came from, and that was his first wife. And he married that woman, stayed with her for seven years. He said for seven years with the wrong woman, and so so we would lived on his farm then uh, on the farm then for. For uh, uh, just a, just a little while. Yeah. What did y'all do on the farm? We all went to work uh, in the mill. Uh, Daddy went to the saw mill, and, and my mama went to the uh, uh, hosiery mill and cotton mill. And cotton mill. We mama didn't did do that till you moved here. Huh? Mama we didn't, didn't do, do that, that till you moved, we moved here. here. Well, see, I went to the yeah, we did. Uh, yeah. Me and Mama did because me and her rode the boat. Uh, over there, we rode the. Uh, a truck <laughs> to the mill. We was working yeah, on cutting I don't remember mill. Mama going to work till she lived uh, Oh yeah, she worked over that because me and her both rode with, uh, can't think of the man's name, he had a pickup truck, not a pickup, but a big old truck. And so uh, he was a uh, section hand and therefore I was working. When y'all were picking cotton, wasn't that on the farm? Uh, that was on the Snyder farm. You were telling me about picking cotton. Yeah, we was on the Snyder farm then. Uh, we would go in a cotton field, Buster was big enough to go and Mom would drive the old car. That's where she learned to drive across the hills and the hollers. She walked a lot of times, started driving, and uh, she'd pack her lunch in the morning to the cotton field. And Avi and Geneva wasn't big enough to do anything, and I, so I took care of them. They were small. And uh, I think Geneva took her first step with me taking care of her over there in a tree somewhere. I sure I did. Huh? I, I, I knew I was in a cotton field somewhere. Yeah, you was. Okay. That's <laughs> what's wrong with you now. <laughs> and she was in the cotton field. And wasn't she seven? That we had a tree Excuse me. that I, I would drive up there and they, Daddy had made a little crib that we kept, I guess it was avian, and uh, Mama would come to the shade tree and nurse her, go back. And I, I was shut up in the car with them two youngins. <laughs> and because of all that, I walked to what Mom would tell you if she could talk seven months, 11 days. Right. <laughs> That's what Cheryl right. told me. But the last year that we had cotton, we had 10 acres. And y'all worked your own cotton on? Well, right we were sharecropping. 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 Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. And the best I remember when we started milking cows. Mr. Schneider paid us a dollar and went a day for the three of us, right? I don't remember this. I don't remember that. For the three of us. So all of y'all should have had experience milking cows, right? Oh, no? yes. The three of us. The three of us. Bobby Buster and Lucille. Yeah. I didn't okay. want to be yeah. cows. No, Bobby, Bobby, Buster <laughs> used, Bobby Buster used to milk from the farm. And then me and Miss Mitchell would go by behind them and strip mm -hmm. the cows what was mm -hmm. left. Okay. And you'd get hit in the face with an old nasty cow tail, tail and take their foot and put it in the bucket and mm -hmm. spill it everywhere. It was a nasty job. And we done that before we went to school in the mornings too. And in the afternoons, milk for the all, cows, years. Milk the cows before you went to school. Absolutely. Then we rode with the man that picked up the milk for school. I don't know how I made my grades, but I did. And that would be the A.T. Allen? And it was built in about 32, 34, somewhere in there? It was built in 1935. 35. Mm -hmm. 
I don't remember exactly what grade I was in, but I was probably in field six. I remember walking to school when I was in the first grade from you were no, no, I walked to school. Yeah, I know you think I'm lying. You were on. Oh. But I walked to school. I used to school. be out there waiting on the school bus. School bus. And I called Lana the bus too, would but come there by were days we walked to school. Open his door and I'd hop in and go. Now you couldn't do that now. School. I'd hop in the car with him and take off to school. He'd let me out at the schoolhouse. Yeah. Mama didn't know how I got to school. <laughs> she gonna whip you down because she fell. Lucy, do you ever remember how walking to school, missing the bus and walking to school from? I have walked to school a couple times, and the Eisenhower boys out there used to come down to, to the road where I was waiting on the bus and aggravate me to death. Yeah, I, I remember in the first grade walking to school some from, yeah, from Snyder's. Now, when y'all when y'all left Snyder's, you moved back to Miami Church Road. Uh -huh. yes. Yeah, different Thank section. You. Different section. Yeah. Right now, there, right there at that little bridge, there where the stoplight is. I mean, the caution light is now. It was right down across that where that bridge is now, in a little house on the left. I don't believe I've seen that house out. It's, it's gone. gone. Okay, it's, it's gone. gone. Okay, how and long then, were y'all there? We went there until they bought this. Went a couple of years. Are you sure it was a couple of years? We went there a couple of years. Oh, not over two. Was it years. long? Went over two years. Okay. I don't think it was more. We bought this. Dad bought this house here from the man that helped him out when we first came into Cabarrus County and over there at the farm. Daddy didn't have a, any money to buy kerosene. He went up to the store to get kerosene. The man wouldn't let him hide it on a credit and so the man was had another store away on over there up towards town he run a, a service station up there and he and he stepped in and said uh, i'll help him out and so he did and so that man was daddy's buddy all the way who was that man black shavecock's brother lynn plot lynn plot oh okay lynn plot and so when daddy got ready he wanted this house and this high house belonged to the plot of family. And so Lynn told Dad, if you want that house, I'll stand for it for you. He said, if you ain't got the money now, I said, you get it. So Daddy, uh, auctioneers out here auctioned it off and Dad got it. And he, he, he paid for it and then Dad paid him. You read that? I do. Do you know how much the house costs? No, I don't, right off. I don't know how much it costs. I know it was moved here off of Mill Hill. This I seem to remember a story about this house getting moved here. Moved here from Mill Hill. With a, a mule team. Right, brought it. right. Is that right? Lewis okay. remembers coming wow. by here with his family and, and seeing that the house was moved here and said that, he, I think Bodie said, look, Pat said they've moved the house down here. And it came from Lock Mill there on the, the street there in front of Lock Mill. Down below Lock Hill, because there was another house looked just like it there where you, uh, the road, road Fort Dolph down there uh, after you go down from Lock Mill to the left, there's another house sitting there just like it. Oh, there's a lot of houses like Well, they, this is like where this had come from. And there was another yeah. one that was just yeah. like it. And Grandpa built Additions on both sides and the kitchen in the back, yeah, right? Yeah, he built the house. I believe it's four more than four times. <laughs> he said I built the house four times. <laughs> so when you first moved in, you were all born by the end. Yeah. And you did have, you didn't have enough bedrooms to begin with, did you? You're packing well, them in like four bedrooms. We were still stacked up. Stacked up. And we slept <laughs> in two beds. In the attic. Yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah. that's yeah. right up there. I yep. little I've been up there as a kid. Yeah. Yeah. We slept three to a bed, as girls did. Yeah. And um, I had two I heads slept. here, the head down here, and your feet. <laughs> and I slept at the foot <laughs> right here. And the fireplace, I mean, mm -hmm. the, the, the stove here. And it, Dad would fill it up with whatever he put in it, cold or whatever, but it would get piping red hot and scare me to death. <laughs> I couldn't sleep until it 
cool them. Cool them. And Rachel was, how old were you when she decided that she had to wash her feet every time she went outside? And, and it, it was probably, if I'd say 10 times a day, it probably wasn't too much. You remember going I through remember that? I remember going through that. But she I'm, had that little phobia, I call it. But she was <laughs> in it. She got over it. <laughs> got over it real she fast. Got that's what's wrong with her. know where we lived when I was born. Uh, this is the only place I remember. Okay. I don't, I don't remember living there. This is the only place I remember You're the only one b born at the hospital. Well, All the rest of us was born at home. Do. And then Daddy kept telling us, uh, Amy and I sat on Dad's knee. Uh, you remember that? I had one, David had one, and uh, Amy had one. Then Daddy kept saying, we got a new baby, and the baby's going to get one knee, and Geneva, you got to go. And I cried. You remember that? I, I cried, cried when she was born. I, remember. <laughs> <laughs> I cried and cried and cried because I had to give up my knee on Dad's lap. We got a picture taken though. I know. That knee, <laughs> and I was still four years born. <laughs> <laughs> I did. I did. You? Did you? Yeah, I was too tough. Yeah. Then you two come along and messed it up. But he was yeah, still. Yeah, we were. Dad was really. He was so good to us, and he was just really, really good. Always, I don't think he ever whooped anybody. No, he never whooped anybody. He did me one no. time. He, yeah. he slapped yeah. me one time and I thought he'd kill me, but he didn't hurt. And he he spanked me one time. time. Maybe he should have spanked me, but he never did. Yeah. The only one I, mean, I remember was a pillow fight. Mama did the thunder. Uh, Mama tore us up. <laughs> oh gosh, that left hand, you better Mom watch out. You better run as fast as you could. Oh gosh, she was going to get you when she caught you. And she told Bobby to go get the hickory one time. He went and got the hickory and he took his knife and cut little slips in it. When she hit him the first time, it flew apart and she made him go back and get the <laughs> other. Oh, you remember that? Do you? She was tough on us, but yeah. somebody had to be. Yeah. <laughs> somebody had to be. But yeah, me 